Hello everyone and happy Sunday evening. KX Storm Team member Carolyn Gursky here and we're taking a look at our weather alerts right now. We do have a dense fog advisory now. That is until tomorrow afternoon and it's quite foggy out there if you've been outside at all. So not surprised to see that for most of the state. Our visibility across the state down to one mile, zero miles in some areas. We're down to one mile in Minot, down to zero in Bowman, 2.5 for beach. So make sure you have your headlights on. I know it's nighttime now, but tomorrow morning as well, make sure you manually, manually turn those headlights on and just leave a little bit of extra space. And if we take a look at our fog forecast, that fog is gonna be persisting into tomorrow morning. So as you're waking up, heading out to school, heading out to work, gonna be waking up to that fog. Should be clearing up though as we head into the later afternoon hours. Could still see a little bit lingering around here and there. Our temperatures right now are sitting in the 30s. It's 37 in Watford City. And our winds anywhere from five to let's go 10 miles an hour here, mainly out of the southeast. And if we take a look at our satellite and radar, we've got some rain, lots of clouds. We've been seeing that rain throughout the day, especially in east northeastern Montana there. And if we go ahead and take a look at precision cast as we continue throughout the night, gonna continue to see that rain and might see a little bit of some freezing drizzle patchy freezing drizzle is possible tonight in the southwest and in the east so something to be aware of if you are out traveling at all then otherwise could be seeing some patchy drizzle across most of the region as well but then as we head into monday should start to dry up should be pretty warm might be seeing a bit of sunshine tomorrow and on tuesday as well and we are watching a system that's going to be moving in this this week should be about the middle of the week and I'll let you know more about that coming up on KX News at 10.30 tonight.